He's our man, so stay away from him. Keep your eyes away from my man. Alright, so hey, Scott, welcome back to my channel. So, today, by the title, we're doing another episode. Guys, we are doing a double elimination, okay? The last episode, Colette and her mans got eliminated. So, another couple's getting eliminated. I hope it's not Summer, and I hope it's not us. I don't think it's us, it just wouldn't make sense. So, let's jump into it and see what happens and see the tea and drama and all that. I want to know who gets eliminated, okay? I hope it is, what's her name? Lilith, I hope it's Lilith, but it's not. I don't know, it's probably not gonna be. Let's just get into it, okay. Let's see who got the second to last number of votes. I can reveal the second bachelor being sent home along with his partner is. What do you mean double elimination? Well, the word double, I believe, comes from the Latin duplus, meaning twofold, therefore, two, dos, yeah. Did I ask for a Latin lesson? <laughs> If I was the host, I would kick her off the show. That's just my opinion. What do you mean two couples are being eliminated? Who else are you sending home? I'm so glad you asked. Based on your votes, the next person you want to eliminate is... Colt meets your eyes and mouths. I love you. <laughs> Guys, we're not getting eliminated. Colt, relax. It's fine. You whisper it back. We'll whisper it back. I love you too. We'll be okay, guys. Romeo and Flora. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like as long as it's not anyone else. What? Oh no, Flora. It's okay guys. I can't believe you pulled this. You know the motto of the show. Hate the game. Romeo and Flora, please come together in the center to reveal. Is he a player or is he a millionaire? I bet he's a millionaire, you guys. Before I tell you, I just want to say it's been such a privilege getting to know you. I really had fun and I'm sorry if I gave a poor impression. Oh, guys, I think he's a millionaire. Player, if I ever saw one, hurry up and announce it already, player. I'm ready for the question. Romeo, are you a player? I am a millionaire. Is he? A millionaire? I told you he was a millionaire, which means there's only one more millionaire left. And it could either be Colts or it could not be Colts. And then, like, I don't know what to do. What? Holy mother of... Are you serious? Wow, I did not see that coming. Dang, so now we have three couples left and only one millionaire. Right, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Two very well hidden players and three girls looking for love. What will happen at our next recoupling? Find out next week on Don't Hate the Player. That sucks so hard, I was ready to go home, but Flora? I cannot believe they sent me home. And I was with a millionaire! Only one millionaire left and I think we all have our eyes on Colt. You better keep your eyes away from my man. Thank you very much, okay? I will be spending so much coin so she does not take my man, okay? Cause he's mine. Yeah. I think it's time to stop playing nice, yeah? Well, two can play at that game, sis. Back at the villa, it feels eerie quiet with two couples missing. I can't believe they pulled that. I can. They've been changing up the rules every week. They don't want us to get comfortable. There's always a challenge or a change up. Perhaps they're hoping it will force the players to reveal themselves. Like it or not, only one of you guys in here is genuine. Two of you are looking to play us. Even if two of us are allegedly players, that doesn't mean the feelings we developed are genuine. Oh! See? Yeah, he likes Summer, period, as you should, <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of us now are standing here without any feelings for our partners, <laughs> except for Lilith's partner. Uh, yeah, he looks, he's like, I hate her. <laughs> I need a drink, anyone want a glass? He's like, yeah, I need a drink because Lilith is my partner and it's torture being with her. I get you. Yes, please. I'll take one. Why don't we all have a toast to Colette, Heath, Flora, and Romeo, and raise another glass to us, the final three. As much fun as toasting the losers isn't, I think we should liven this up a little. What do you suggest? Spin the bottle. You just want to kiss my man, ho? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Are you serious? How old are you? Old enough to know that getting a little closer to one another can make people start to reveal their true intentions. I don't want to be played, so let's see if these players can keep it together. I have nothing to hide. Nor have I. Game on. You sit down to play spin the bottle. Colt puts his hand on your knee. Yeah, he's our man, so stay away from him. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I know, I just don't want her to think we have something to hide. Plus, I'm gonna try and cheat so I get you. Haha, <laughs> cheeky. I'll start. Oh my god, I'm scared, guys. Summer spins it and it lands on Colt. It's fine, it's okay, she's our homegirl. She's not gonna make out with him, right? Oh, they just did a kiss cheek. See, it's fine. My turn. Colt spins it and it lands on Asa, is it Aza? Aza? Asa? Aza. I think it's Aza. 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 Oh, maybe Aza. It could be Aza. Aza or Aza? Uh, oh, they said... Okay, let's get this over with. No tongue cold. <laughs> like you had to say. <laughs> My turn then. Aza spins it and it lands on you. Mm, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. How do I do this? Kiss and play. Just a peck. On the, well, just kiss him on the cheek. My turn. It lands on... Him again? Oh my god. Guess it's my turn now. Okay, it's fine. No more. As it spins it and it lands on Summer. Finally. Um, 
guys. <laughs> Get around. Don't tap me. Yeah, it sounds like jealousy, Lilith. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Madison, you take a turn. Okay, we got this, guys. Who are we getting? Oh, Summer, okay. It's just Summer, guys. I haven't had a turn yet. It's my turn. Right, okay. It... No, no. That's Colt. Lilith spins it and it lands on Colt. Pack her up, handsome. Let me show you how a real lady kisses. Okay, sure, you're a real grandma. Actually, I'd rather take a forfeit. <laughs> he said, no thank you. Yeah, you got germs. What? Who said we were doing forfeits? That's always been the rules if you don't want to kiss someone. Yeah. See, yeah, mm-hmm. And I really don't want to kiss Lilith. What should the forfeit be? What if he strips his underwear, does a handstand, drinks a shot of hot? Let's spice it up. Strips his underwear. <laughs> what do you think, Madison? I think I'll take the forfeit for him. He should be able to accept it. He should kiss Lilith with tongue? <gasps> no, he cannot. He cannot kiss Lilith. It'll be, yeah, he can accept the forfeit. He should do the punishment. Up you get, Colt. Gladly. Mm-hmm. Have fun. Way better than kissing Miss Nasty. <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? Uh, maybe I should have chosen a different one because now they're all staring at him and he's kind of naked. Yeah. Lilith is looking at you. Let her look. Only you get to touch. Okay. That's my man. That's my man. I'll be reminding you of that later. I hope so. I think Lilith suggested the game just so she could try and kiss Colt. It won't work though. He's totally smitten with Madison and everyone knows it. That did not go to plan. Yeah, because he doesn't even want to kiss you because you're gross. So, um, stop trying to get with my man because he obviously does not want you. Later that night, the two of you head back to your bedroom. I can't believe we played spin the bottle until 2 a.m. I can't believe how jealous I was when I saw you kiss Azza on the cheek. Oh, you were jealous? Mmm, okay. Very. I don't usually get jealous, but you bring out the possessive side of me. See, when I think I like him, I don't, yeah. It makes me want to do all the kind things to you to remind you of how much you, I love you. Ew, uh, just hand me a puke bag really quickly. What kind of things? Well, first, I want to pick you up. Uh, he swoops you into his arms, and then I want to throw you down on the bed. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Oh, goodness. Then what? Then we go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, bye. <laughs> then I want to climb on top of you and... Um, he clutches you close to him, brushing his lips against your neck, and you ask him to keep going. Tell him he does, doesn't turn you off. <laughs> Sorry, you just don't do it for me. Um, Guys, I don't know what I do. Do I spend the coin? Do I make myself uncomfortable? Um... Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And what, don't tease me. But I'd love to tease you. Ew, you guys, why, why, why? I love it when you look up at me with those beautiful brown eyes and beg me to make you mine. Oh my God, honestly, disgusting. Disgusting, yeah, no. Like they're doing right now. Then why do you keep me waiting when you know what I want? Because patience is a virtue and I'd love hearing you tell me what you want. Just, I can't do this, guys. <laughs> You love making me back. Ooh, why did I pay for this? I'm just, honestly, I'm regretting every decision I've made ever. I love you, begging, kissing, loving you all the time. God, I can't do this. Reading this out loud was so different from in your head. Like, it's just, I can't. You're more than I ever dreamed of. You're everything. Let me give you everything. Okay. The next day, the six of you are in the limo heading to the next challenge. I wonder what it will be. Something dangerous. Dangerous? Why? I heard the producers talking about our accident waivers and liability insurance forms. Excuse me, what? Um, I choose life. Thank you. What does that mean? It means that whatever we're doing today carries some risk. Colt feels you stiffen beside him as he places a hand on your arm encouragingly. Whatever it is, we'll be fine. What's the worst they can do? Some kind of motocross racing? Oh my god, it's some kind of motocross racing. Guys, we'll be fine. That's nothing. We'll be fine. That's actually fine. Alas, no motocross. Oh, what? No. Today we're racing go-karts. Oh. Guys, that's not even dangerous, okay? Go-karts? How old are we? This is coming from the girl who wanted to play spin the bottle last night. Yeah, okay. You're never too old for cold cards. Don't be such a sourpuss. Yeah, Kieran, you don't really get along. Mm -hmm. Welcome, couples. Only the three of you remain, so we decided it was time to bring the action. The next elimination is our semifinals, so we needed to up the stakes. With go-karting? Would you like to ride the banana again? No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no thank you. Shutting 
up. <laughs> yes, I would shut up and listen because today's prize is something very special. What would you say to a beautiful day in Venice? I would say take me there today. Thank you. Complete with a romantic gondola ride along the canals. That sounds amazing. Then you better hope your team wins the race. But first into wardrobe to find out your team colors. Oh, okay, period. She's a racer girl. <laughs> Hot damn, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You look amazing in red. Thank you. Look, guys, we're representing. We're representing her. You look pretty hot yourself. Red hot and ready to win. Let's show them the red team came here to compete by dressing in red, ignoring your team colors. How am I gonna ignore my- Why is it 29 coins to wear this? <laughs> we look amazing. Let's go win this. Fun fact, I used to race go-karts when I was a kid, so we should be winning this challenge then, right? So this challenge was made for me. I hope I can keep up. I'll clear the way for you. Thanks. I'm a race car driver. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, couples, today's challenge will be a relay race. Once one person completes their lap, the other sets off, not before. Whoever completes their laps in the fastest time is the winner. Be careful on the corners. If you take them too fast, you may spin out of control. Remember, keep your eyes on the prize. First ones to finish, go to Venice. Meanwhile, the rest of you will tidy the wardrobe department before going home. I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Now start your engines. We would normally say ladies first, but gentlemen, let's buck the trend. Make your way into the starting position. Start your engines. On your marks, get set, go! Go, go, go! All seem to be neck and neck at the moment, but here comes the first turn. Yikes, as it did not handle that turn well at all. So much for Venice. Sorry, Summer. Colt and Kira are coming close to the finish line now, and then they hand the, they're over to the girls. Oh, but Colt is pulling ahead and now handing over to Madison. Yes, I better go get in the car. Okay, we got this. Madison, we're gonna win it because I'm gonna spend a coin. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Colt now, and he's finished, which means Madison can go. She's off. You have a good head start. Try and keep up so you can win the game. Okay, speed up. Okay, we can, yeah, we got this, guys. There's a turn, slow down. You're pulling ahead? Meanwhile, Lilith's waiting on her partner. Mm, he's slow, yeah. Hurry up, you idiot. I would not want to date someone who talks to me like that. I feel so bad for him. And he's finished, which means Liz can go. She's off. Liz's coming up fast. Can she beat Madison? No, uh, no, she cannot. Get out of my way. Stop shunning my car. Make me lose her. Uh, she's actually crazy. Zoom ahead. I will not let her push me off the tracks when I'm so close to beating her. I'm going to knock me off the road. Mm, yeah, couldn't be me. No. Eat my dust, Lilith. Yeah, take that bitch. Yes, baby. 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 Okay. Yeah, I win. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> OMG, we won. Of course we did. You were amazing. You were the one who got me the amazing head start. Even though Lilith managed to catch up to me. I can't believe she tried to dock your car off the road. I can. She's crazy. Lilith really thought she could mess with me. She thought wrong. Congratulations, you too. Have a wonderful time in Venice. Okay, let's see. Outfits. Ew. Guys, honestly, these outfits are pretty ugly, but I guess we'll choose that. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. I love Venice. You've been before? Yes, only once. But I find the whole city fascinating. Did you know the city's actually rest on 118 islands separated by canals? No, that's amazing. Yeah, and there are no cars at all. Everything is done with gondolas. Which reminds me, your chariot awaits my lady. Oh, that's so cute. And romantic. The two of you head down to the docks where your gondola waits. Getting into the boat, Colt wraps his arms around you as you glide along the canals. Oh my god. Guys, that's so cute. You snuggle close as you take in the romantic scenery. Colt tells you little bits of the history of Venice as you head further into the lagoon. What do you think of the canals? They're so beautiful. I'm glad you're enjoying it. As you head back into the city, you admire how beautiful today has been. The view from here is gorgeous. Let's take a selfie. Aww. Venice with Madison has been like something out of a dream. It was honestly the perfect place to pop the question. But you're not going to, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but Madison has me thinking these thoughts. Okay, it's a little too soon for that. <laughs> As you make your way to dinner, the sun sets, casting a magical glow over the city. Spaghetti! <laughs> this has been the most beautiful night. Beautiful city, beautiful food, and even more beautiful company. It's been wonderful. Cheers to us, to hopefully making it to the semifinal. Cheers to making it past that and winning the final. Cheers to the rest of our lives together and many more beautiful nights like this. Cheers, unless you're a player. <laughs> Before we call it a night, let's go see the water again. I want to hold you as the stars start to sparkle. It has been such a magical day. I don't want it to end. I should spend my final moment in Venice with a romantic kiss show up to the airport early and you have to wait for your plane I don't want to do that no no we're gonna go to the beach yeah that sounds amazing lead the way beautiful yeah let me just figure out where I'm going <laughs> the two of you walk through the quiet streets feeling flirty and excited to continue exploring the city down by the docks the Venetian water is silent and sparkling in the starlight I still can't believe we're here that I'm here with you that the universe somehow brought us together it feels like fate doesn't it under these stars looking out over the water here anything would feel like fate even without it I'd never been more certain of anything Colt turns you to face him and holds you close kissing you until 
until the very last moment you have here. Taking your breath away once again as the two of you fall even more in love with one another. You make one last visit to the Moonlight Piazza and take some more beautiful pictures to capture your perfect evening together in Italy. Before you know it, it's time for the next recoupling event already. Guys, what? Okay, we have that. No, no. Okay, we'll go with that. Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I feel like someone will just kick us out just because they're jealous, you know? I hate when they don't tell us what's going on. We have recoupling, but we don't know who gets picked. It seems stupid to change couples so late in the game. I don't want to lose you. We won't. Let's see what they have in mind. Come on. In the studio, you stand with Lilith and Summer feeling more exposed than ever. Guys, I feel like Summer's gonna go home, but I feel like her boyfriend's a player, but he actually likes her, and they end up being in love, you know? I feel like that's gonna happen. Good evening and welcome to Don't Hate the Player, where tonight is usually our recoupling. Usually? Huh? We say usually because there's been a slight change in tonight's events. I knew it. I'm tired of this, y'all. I'm pleased to say that there will be no recoupling tonight. Thank God. There's no recoupling because honestly, we're tired of couples. What? Huh? That's why we decided to, <laughs> to turn up the heat and take these couples and take them on to the next level. You all will not be asking if someone wants to be your partner tonight. Instead, you'll be asking if they want to be your fiance. Huh? Fiance, y'all, it's a little too soon for marriage. <laughs> like, it's just, it hasn't been that long. I'm scared. What? You mean, that's right. Tonight we will cement these couples until the end. For better or for worse, you came here for love and now it's time to lock it down. The show will end in two weeks time, either with a millionaire wedding or a player leaving his bride at the altar. Now, would you like to know who gets the first proposal? Oh my God, don't hate the player. Are all these boys getting down on one knee? Keep reading, no. Someone's gonna be like, I can't do it, I can't. Is it gonna be Lilith's man? I hope it's Lilith's man. Imagine he's like, I can't do it. I hate her. <laughs> but guys, that was that episode. I was not expecting that little twist at the end, but I hope y'all liked it. If you did, give it a, a thumbs up. <laughs> a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.